Praise God, everyone. I'm Minister Evelyn Harden from To God Be The Glory Ministry under the leadership of Pastor Kennedy Sesser, our co-pastor Wanda Sesser. Welcome to our Bible study. Tonight I will be talking about faith. Let us go into a word of prayer. Father God, have your way in this Bible study, oh God. Sit Minister Evelyn down. Speak through the Holy Spirit. Give me what the people need to hear. Let us not only be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. In Jesus' name, amen. If you will, go with me to... 1 John chapter 5 and the 14th verse. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Faith is confidence that God is going to answer your prayer. No matter what the situation, no matter what his will is, he's going to answer. And his will be, will be done in your life. But you got to have confidence that it's going to be done. You got to have confidence that God is in this storm that we're going through from the beginning to the end and the storm i'm talking about right now is this pandemic the storm i'm talking about right now is the shooting the killings the murdering the storm i'm talking about is like you know you can't go nowhere you can't do nothing you know i gotta wear a mask here i gotta wear a mask there but you gotta have confidence in god knowing that god is in this thing he and he's gonna be with us from the beginning to the end you got to have confidence that knowing that god would never leave you or forsake you got to have confidence in knowing we never seen the righteous forsaken nor see you begging bread we got to have confidence and know that you are more than a conqueror on tonight if you will go with me to um james chapter one verses one through seven and it reads james a servant of god and of the lord jesus christ to the tw 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and toss. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. You hear that? Let that man not think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. When you come to God, you got to come to God in boldness. Don't waver and just, woe is me, woe is me. You know, coming to God all week. But speak up, talk to God. Talk to God about the word when you pray. God, you said for me to ask and it should be given. You said for me to seek and I should find. God, you said for me to knock and the door will be open. Just go to God in boldness, you know? It's not the time, now is not the time for you to shut down and shut up. You know, just open up your mouth and say, Jesus. If you can't say nothing, if you don't even know the word, you know, you can say Jesus. Just say that name, Jesus. And if you start um, saying Jesus, everything will start opening up for you. You know, the devil wants you to sit around and mope around and just quiet down. He don't want you to say nothing. But just open up your mouth and say, Jesus. And then that's when your help will start. You'll start feeling your help come on when you begin to call on Jesus and have confidence that he's going to answer you. You know, don't be afraid. And don't think it's strange when you're going through. Because, see, your faith work with patience. You know, the trying of your faith work with patience. You hear me? The trying of your faith. You hear the word try? The trying of your faith work with patience. So you got to know when you're going through things, it's just God, it's just a test. But you got to have patience and confidence that God is going to bring you through the storm. Don't ask God to take the storm away from you because you're not going to learn your lesson. But say, God, please help me in this storm. Help me to stand, God. God, I have faith that you're going to help me stand in this storm, oh God. And don't shut down during this pandemic. Don't go on the corner and feel <clears throat> all is lost. Just know that God is in the midst of it. He, he's going to see us through this. But just let his will be done in this pandemic. Let him do what he's doing. But be still and know that he's God. You got to be still and have faith and know that he's God. Over in 40, uh, Psalms 46 and 10, it says, be still and know that I'm God. But in order to be still, don't you know you have to have faith to be still? You have to have faith to be still. So you be still and you say, okay, let me be still and try this thing what God is talking about. I'm going to go ahead and try to be still and know that God is God. But you know what? In order for you to be still, you have to have faith. Even if it ain't number as a mustard seed, that mustard seed faith. So you're trying to be still and listen to God, and you're trying to do what God say. God, I got this little bit of faith. I'm going to sit there and be still. 
and listen to what you're trying to say. And once you begin to listen to what God is trying to say, then that's when your help is coming on. Because you begin to hear his voice. And if you don't be still, you can't hear his voice. You be a busy body, you're doing stuff. During this pandemic, be still. Go sit and, 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 and focus on God. Keep your faith in God that he's going to see you through. But don't give up. Don't go to a corner. Don't talk to God. Don't even do, you know, don't pray. Don't even have no faith. But go to, go to God in prayer and believe in it, having confidence that he's going to see you through. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been called, no matter what people have done to you, no matter what people have said to you, keep your faith in God. Because you know in the end you're going to win if you keep your faith in God. In the end, God is going to be there for you. But I'm telling you, you got to have faith and confidence, you know. Don't have confidence in the world because the world ain't going to do nothing for you. The world going to leave you right there behind. But God going to stay there with you. He's not going to leave you or he's not going to forsake you. So have confidence in God. It's good to have confidence in somebody that's going to really be there for you. Because, you know, sometimes have you ever tried to trust in someone they let you down? And you be like, How? How could that person do me like that? You know why that person did you like that? Because that person is not God. That man, that person is not God. You put your faith in that person. You didn't put your faith in God. So that person let you down. And so God is a jealous God. He let that happen to you. So you can see that that person is not God. You need to put your faith and trust in me. And in the end, I'm going to give you seven pointers that's going to help you to go ahead and keep your faith in God and stay strong in the Lord. The first one is to believe. Believe in God. And in your spare time, when you have time, read the cha chapter Matthew, uh, Matthews, chapter 21 and 22. And it's going to talk to you about believing in God. Number two is to hear the word. You know, I know I know you hear all this stuff going on, the pandemic or whatever. Don't let that take over your mind. You got to hear the word of God. And that scripture is going to be Romans 10 and 17. And then the third thing is to trust. Trust in God. Don't lean into your own understanding, but just trust in God, knowing that God is in the midst of this thing. You know, don't lean into your own understanding, just give it to God and let God do what he's going to do. And then the fourth thing, walk by faith. Don't walk by sight. A lot of things you see and you think is one thing, but it's not. It's something else. So you got to walk by faith. The fifth thing is please God. A lot of times, let me, let me back up that. When I said walk by faith, that scripture is 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. And then I said, trust in God. That scripture is Proverbs 3, and 3, 5, and 6. And now, you want to please God in everything that you do. You want to please God. You don't want to try to please man. Because man, just like I said earlier, man will let you down. You got to please God. And that scripture is Hebrews 11 and 6. And without faith, you cannot please God. You cannot please God without faith. And the um, sixth thing is to follow after righteousness. 1 Timothy 6 and 11. Don't follow after this world. Follow after righteousness. Follow after holiness. Follow after being obedient. Follow and listen to your man or woman of God. Follow them, the one that God has sent you. That uh, scripture is 1 Timothy 6 and 11. And the seventh thing is have confidence. Just like I said earlier. First John 5 and 14, have confidence and know that God is going to be with you through the end. I hope you enjoy Bible study on tonight, but stay focused, be still, and know that God is God, and pray without ceasing. Have a good night.